What is up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to another intermediate Java tutorial. This is actually the 13th tutorial in the series and we're going to be going over some more collections methods and specifically frequency and another method called disjoint and you'll see what those do in a little bit. So, well first let me tell you guys what frequency does. Frequency checks one list against the other or excuse me, one list against a term or element and if it appears in the list it pretty much outputs how many times that element appears in the list so let's go ahead and just we can print it out on the same line so system out print line and then go ahead and put here's the method right here it's in the collections class frequency right there it's already filled in in the collection that we want to test if the elements in is a list two and remember that's our big list and the object we want to test is go ahead and type in something that's in the list dig so what it does is it goes through list two which is right here and it checks if dig is in it and it appears one time in it so it should return a one so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see it returned the number one right there and if it appeared in this list more than like three times it would return a three obviously but that's that so now we can move on to the uh, next method so the next common method in list I want to go over is called disjoint and what disjoint does is it checks one list against another list actually a collection against another collection and it returns true if they have nothing in common no elements in common at all so let's go ahead and make um, a variable just make it a boolean and I'll name mine trf for true or false and set this equal to collections dot disjoint and as parameters we want to write alright what are there two collections that we want to test well of course list one and list two and here's list one right here and here's list two and since they do have items in common it's gonna return false because remember it returns true if they have no items in common so let's go ahead and just see that right now and in our next line we'll just go ahead and print it out system out print line tof so this if we coded it correctly should print out false and look at that false right here and remember false means is that they do indeed have elements in common so a more practical use for this would be pretty much if statement just go ahead and write if tof then we're gonna run system out print line so if it's true then it's going to mean these lists do not have anything in common. Simple enough. So now on the next line, let's write our else. So if it's false, then well, might as well copy this and paste. So if it's false, go ahead and write these lists must have something in common and put an explanation point because this is an exciting point in our lives so go ahead and write ok and since it's false it goes this list or these lists must have something in common and what do they have in common these three things youtube google and dig so if they had nothing in common it would be true and it says um, it would run this these lists do not have anything in common so that's pretty much the basics of frequency and disjoint and how to use them in collections so thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.